What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here. And today we're going back all the way to when Star Wars, Lego Star Wars started back in 1999. And we're taking a look at what I feel is actually a really solid model. It's the Naboo Swamp that set 7121. It had 82 pieces, four minifigs, came out again in 1999, retailed for 10 US, and uh, nowadays the set's going for 51 new or 26 used. And I remember buying this at the store and I just thought it was the coolest thing. I love the staps. I was like, oh, I get Qui-Gon. And I didn't know who the goof was that was with him. Found out later and I actually still wasn't impressed even though I was a little dude. But this set's actually pretty good. We're getting into its positives and its negatives. But enough talk. Let's get right into it. And to start us off, we're actually gonna take a look at the staff. So that's the speeder bike that the battle droids like to ride. And I have to say, I'm extremely impressed by this. I actually think it looks very, very accurate to the actual film. I just think all in all, they knocked this out of the park. Considering it's 1999, this was very, very well done. And you get two of them. I remember when I bought this set as a kid and that was what really stood out, is these two awesome staffs. I mean, they just look fantastic. Anyways, that pretty well does the stats. Let's actually now take a look at the swamp. And we'll begin by giving you guys a 360 view of it. So I'm gonna say this right now. This is where the set starts to get a little weak. It is very clumpy, you know, like they would never get away by putting this out nowadays. I mean, this is essentially Star Wars Minecraft. Let's, let's call it that, but it's not Minecraft. It's supposed to be like, you know, more realistic, not so blocky looking, which is fine if it's Minecraft, but for Star Wars, yes, it is a little dated, but what I really like about this is it captures the overall feel that you're going for. Like when Qui-Gon was in that swamp, it captures that feel, it captures the moment. And that's what I really like about this set is the fact that it does that. The other thing I wanted to mention is it comes with a little clam, which is actually kind of unique. They actually included this in two sets. They also included it in the Gun Gun sub. But yeah, nice little piece. I actually do quite like it. But yeah, all in all, I have to say I like the builds in this set. They're not perfect again. The staffs are actually near perfect though. But they capture the feel, the atmosphere of the set. You can imagine your, you know, Qui-Gon going, if you're playing it with it as a kid, Qui-Gon going through the swamp and these speeders come at you. It does that and that's why I like it. Uh, but now what we're gonna do is take a look at the minifigs. And here they are. So you actually get two battle droids because you get two staps, the ones in the background. You get Qui-Gon and you get Jar Jar. These guys, I I think there's five different episode one sets that included them each. Like they were a very common minifig. There's no back torso printing, back face printing. Uh, but what was cool is Jar Jar actually got a custom mold. This was the first time they ever made a custom head. You know, it didn't just give him a minifig head. And I think it looks pretty good, especially for its time. Qui-Gon I absolutely love. He's rocking that chrome lightsaber, which is fantastic, at least the hilt. Uh, I just, I really wish they'd bring back the chrome hilts, but we'll see if they ever do. Very accurate representation of them. I think you can tell that that is Qui-Gon. And Jar Jar, as much as we don't like Jar Jar, he does actually look pretty good. And the battle droid hasn't changed in 20 plus years. So if it's not broke, don't fix it, I guess, is the mentality mentality they're going for. And they went for it with this. But you know what, he still looks pretty good. And what was cool about him is he actually included this one by two plate, uh, put it on his back, which was accurate to the film, but it was one of the few sets that actually ever did that. Uh, the Geonosian fighter from 2003 also included battle droids with a basically like a backpack or electronic piece. If you see the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But other than that, I have never seen that in a Lego set. Anyways, nice looking figs. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. This one, okay, so some people don't like, you know, the landmass as we talked about, but I think it gives you the right vibe, right? Like it is really blocky looking, but you're like, you can tell they're in the swamp and the staff. I think the staps are phenomenal. I don't think Lego's really improved on the staff all that much. I love these staps, you know, the speeders. Plus you got two battle droids, you got Qui-Gon, you got Jar Jar. But I mean, four minifigs for 10 US, I think this was a solid deal. And I, I like the set. I don't think it's nearly as bad as some people think, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on it. If you like it, if you don't, if you possibly own it, 
any areas you think they can maybe improve on it. Obviously it is very dated. I still think it gets the job done. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future LEGO Star Wars reviews, comparisons we do on the channel. We do one every Tuesday, and this is part of the reason I absolutely love doing them. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.